Hi everyone, it's Mora again. I am here to show you this nighttime glam look. I am so ready to hit the town after this. And keep watching if you would like to see how to get this look. So I'm just going to add some bake under the eye so that I don't have too much fallout. Not that these shadows have very much fallout to begin with, but just in case, since I am using darker shadows, I'm going to put some bake under the eye. So I'm going to start off with this nice neutral shade and I'm going to put it all over the lid to get a base for the other shadows. So next I'm going to go in with Dreamy and I'm just going to put that kind of in the same place as the other shadow except I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. I don't want to bring it up as high as Delight. Lastly, I am going to go in with the shade Dangerous and I'm going to put that kind of all over the lid and then slightly bring it up, just again a tad bit lower than the last shadow. And for this look, we want it to be dark closest to the lash line and get increasingly lighter as you go up towards the brow. Now I'm going to dust away that bake so that I can start with the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with Dangerous again on the same brush that I used for the lid and I'm just going to buff it out and focus kind of more on the outer part of the eye and fade it into the inner corner. In addition to that on the lower lash line I'm going to go in with Delight again and I'm going to just blend things out so that the lower lash line is smoked out and beautiful. I am next going to do some eyeliner to really enhance this eye look and add some mascara. So I did end up putting on fake lashes. Here they are. This is what the eye look looks like once it's all complete. And I'm going to zoom you out so that you can see me do the rest of my face and my lips. So I am actually going to go in with one of our shadows for the blush. And I'm going to go in with the same color that we used on the lid, which is Dreamy. So I'm just going to kind of use brush strokes going downward and upward, not side to side. I'm kind of more tapping it on so that you don't take away your foundation or concealer or powder that is underneath. So that is my blush all complete. This is how it looks so far. And next I'm going to go in with some highlight. And I'm just going to dust this kind of all over the tops of my cheeks and where all of the light would hit in the sun. And I'm going to dust a little bit on my nose, above my lip, on my cupid's bow, tiny bit on my chin, and a tiny bit above each brow. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and kind of just dab it into the shadow and put just a tiny bit on the inner corner just to brighten things up in the eye. Finally, I will go in for my lips, and I am taking the pencil in the shade Timeless, and I am just slightly overlining to make my lips look very plump and pretty. And lastly, I am going in with the shade Brush for my lipstick, and I am putting this all over. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. This is the final look. I love to do this type of look when I'm going out with my friends. I just want to thank Nude Envy for letting me film this video and use some of their products. They are absolutely wonderful. Make sure to go get some of your own on NudeEnvy.com or check out our Instagram at NudeEnvy. Just keep in mind that all of our products are paraben-free, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan. I am obsessed with this look and I hope you are too and I hope you check out our website and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.